All right, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Rakaq, Wadash, double honor to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone, and peace and blessing on the whole fact of Israel. And uh, going to back our almost home, and uh, the title of this almost home is going to be Hope for Good, right? Because hope is extremely important in these times we're coming into because hope is going to keep you alive. Hope is going to motivate you to keep doing the right thing. And that's goes into you holding your integrity because you know that at the end of the day, if you do what you're supposed to do, through spirit by your boss, you're going to be rewarded. You know, hope is pretty much, you know, confidence in the future. And our hope is that we'll be part of the elect and be part of those souls that are pretty much elected to be saved in the time to come into this, this great and terrible time we're coming into. And we hope to be saved out of that, you know. And, um, Can I get something for you real quick? Come, go ahead. Um, and, uh, this is uh, in the book of uh, Hebrews. That's in Hebrews uh, chapter 11. Because you said hope, you know, pretty much going into hope and we hope to be saved. Yeah. But you know, how can you hope in something that you don't even believe in? You know what I mean? And that's the whole substance. Mm -hmm. um, I can't get it right now. Hebrews 11. Yeah, verse you already know. Yeah. yeah, I get it real quick. Let's lock it, brother. Okay. Uh, uh, this is the book of uh, Hebrews, chapter 11, in uh, verse uh, uh, 1. Hebrews uh, chapter 11 and verse 1. All right, and it reads, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, mm -hmm. the evidence of things not seen. Yep, and that's that's what the gift the Lord gave us, is to have hope in these last days. Ultimately, hope and faith is synonymous. Because you read Hebrews 11 and 1, it tells you that hope is the substance of things hoped for. Again, the confidence of the future. That, you know, again, that the Lord, which he told us, is that, you know, he that endured the innocent shall be saved. Right, so you know, there's going to be pretty much again going to elect being predestined to be saved in these times to come. All this hell coming, getting the times to take trouble, the Lord's going to protect them from that. You know, resisting the chip and resisting all the evil, pretty much putting a hedge about them, you know, to make a way for them to escape. Because it's not going to be by carnal means how we're going to escape these times to come. You know, as, as many times we can tell you, you know, be blue in the face, telling you that evil's coming, evil's coming. And even till even us, you know, to the extent that we haven't really seen nothing that's going to come to pass, the evil that's coming. You know, it says uh, uh, in Daniel 12 and 1, it says a time like no other. So how can you compare a time that we're coming into that ain't never happened before? That's why, again, that faith is so important. That's why the devil, his whole, his whole setup is to take that away from you. Mm -hmm. You know, to put stuff in front of you, to make you stumble or make you doubt, you know, make you uh, in a low spirit, you know, doubt. You know, mm -hmm. getting that, that's, that's ultimately the adversary because he wants to take that away from you, that gift the Lord gave you. But the Lord said, neglect not the gift that is in me, right? And that goes into you putting forth fruit. You know, works towards that gift the Lord gave you, and that's us going on the highways and byways, whatever the lot may be, making our body a sacrifice, being a living example of how it is to be a follower, a true follower of Yahweh Right? Can but, uh, I get this real quick in the NLT? Okay. Um, Hebrews eleven and one. It says, "Let me speak on this now. Faith is the confidence mm. that what we hope for will actually happen." Yep. And that's what it is, you know, our <laughs> confidence in the, in the in what the Lord told us is gonna is gonna happen. Yep. You know, believing every word He said is gonna come to pass. Okay. You know, in this due time and due season, and that's we're on time right now. The Lord fulfilling what everything He said He was gonna fulfill. Him saving a remnant, holding to His grace, His mercy, to escape these times to come. And that's the lot we're in. That's why we're doing what we're doing because He didn't give up the world to to just be here. You know, just to maybe. You know, right. we have full assurance that if we do what we're supposed to do. It's not because of us, it's because the grace according to the election right. that the Lord's going to choose those men, women, and children to be saved in these times to come. Right. And to back you up, it says the confidence mm -hmm. that what we hope for will actually happen. So those actions, okay, of what we, man, I hope the Lord mm -hmm. destroy this place. We have confidence that the Lord is going to destroy it. Why? Because we read how the Lord said, oh, for great misery shall be done upon them on the planet earth. They have uh, dwelt in great pride. The scriptures speak about in the book of Habakkuk, okay, the, the, uh, 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 at the end it shall speak. And the Lord said what? Also, the Lord said uh, his word that he speaks shall come to pass, mm -hmm. okay? Before they spring forth, he tells us something, bro. So it's not like we, I'm, a, I'm not assured of it. No, we full assurance, mm -hmm. okay? So reading this again, it says, 
Faith is a confidence that what we hope for will actually happen. It gives us assurance about things we cannot see. So our faith is pretty much our confidence, man. Mm -hmm. Our confidence is 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 our confidence is that when when these things happen, okay, you gonna know that a prophet was among you, man. Mm -hmm. You know, it says it gives us assurance about things we cannot see. So you gonna know that we were the seers. All right, you're going to know that we are those prophets from the ancient world coming back in these last days, okay, to pretty much tell you the things are uh, 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 for time, okay, that were written for our learning or are, are happening, all right, so that you, you can repent. Yeah. But since you don't want to repent in 2021, because just because shit not modern, that's the thing, man. Shit is modern. You got Ford Mustangs, you got, you know, Wraiths, all right, you got, you know, whatever the fuck Jake believe in, man, you know? Okay, Maseratis, Bugattis. Yeah. Just because it's modern, you feel that, oh, the Lord, you know, shit, you know, shit, I'm straight, I'm good. The Lord gave me a Maserati, you know, no, bro. Towers and big mansions, nah, bro. Yeah. Okay, the scripts say, uh, 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 there is no new, ain't no new thing under the sun, man. Yeah. You see, all these empires that were built up ultimately were destroyed. So it's no more with yeah. Babylon and Greece. It's, you know? it's just a distraction. You know, to take you away from your about your shy, these things around you. Because what says appear the trial of our faith being more precious than fire gold, and that's the substance, our faith. And it's not what you have, it's you know, as far as like carnal things, it's what's inside of you. You know, and we could just talk about putting on there for the elect. What are the elect gonna be doing? And we praising the Ayah about shy, you know, hoping that they be, you know, pretty much uh, worthy to be saved in time they're coming into. That goes into prudence. You can look around and say, Oh, you know, everything's cool, a hey, hey. people saying, Oh shit might open up back again, you know, I'm gonna get back on my groove. Get back on my grind, you know. I'm gonna go back into my, you know, uh, mission, you know, in this world. Ten years from now, I'm, I'm gonna have a house, a mansion. My family gonna be straight. You know, all that stuff is in vain because in that day, the program of the Lord does not go void. You know, prophecy still gonna come to pass, and that's you just being blinded. Because it's first, it says in the first Thessalonians fifth chapter that when they should say peace and safety, then some destruction come upon them. So we're being sober, and we know that no matter what, you know, how we feel, you know, what we think, the Lord's ways are higher than our ways. So you know, with the judgment that He promised is gonna come to pass. We always have the back of our mind. We have the fear of the Lord upon us because we know that we are not going to be able to escape without His assurance, without Him saying, "You know, come enter into my rest." You know. Um, I got you. Uh, yeah. Got you. This is the book of uh, Sirach two and verse nine. All right, Sirach two and nine. It says, "Ye that fear the Lord." Yeah. Ye that fear the Lord, you have to know that. Ye that fear Yahweh Bashem Shai, truly fear the Lord. And what is the fear? The beginning of wisdom. And what is wisdom? It contained in that role, the book. You have to eat all of it, you know, the, the good, the bad, the ugly, everything. Put on, therefore, the elect. Put on these words. That's the armor. That's our protection. Our helmet, you know, our breastplate, our shield, our sword, our, our loins girded about with truth, you know, our boots, you know. That's what we put on because our weapons of warfare are not carnal. The wisdom is what, you know, wisdom is what, you know, keeps us safe. That's how we maneuver, how we blend in. Again, wisdom with the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Fear Yahweh Bashar, we have to learn the fear of the Lord. And he's terrible. His judgments play out every single day throughout the hour, the right. minute, the second of the day. And that could be you if you're not doing what you're supposed to do. You know, so ye that fear the Lord. Go ahead. God, hope for hope for good. So only those that fear the Lord can hope for good. If you don't fear Yahweh Bashar, you can't hope for no good. Because evil's coming to you because you don't believe in the Lord. Right? You're not going to the source. You don't you don't believe in the Lord. You think that you can just maneuver, you know, uh, pretty much try to blend in as far as, you know, get along with the devil, you know, appease him, say, hey, whatever you say is cool as long as you don't fuck with me. But you pleasing men, serving men, knowing that the eyes of the Lord is 10,000 times brighter than the sun. He sees everything you're doing. And you bending your knee, bowing your knee to this devil, you're not going to get a pass when it's time to come, you know. And that's going to be to your uh, shame, especially if you're an Israelite, you know, because you chose the way the devil and you deny Yahweh Bashem Shai. So ye that fear the Lord, hope for good. And who can fear the Lord? The fear is made with the faithful in the wounds. Right. Only the faithful can fear Yahweh Bashem Shai. So this is an exclusive group. It's not inclusive, what the Christian te church teaches you. Come as you are. Everybody can come any, you know, fuck all that. The Lord is dealing with a, a special few people that show that they believe, not just say they believe, you know. Okay. You call the name of Yahweh Bashem Shai, that takes faith. A name that you never heard of, you know, and you mean taught by a man that this is the true name of the Lord. That takes faith because everything is spiritual, but people are carnal. 
You know, they want to be comfortable, you know, and that's why at the end of the day, they're going to take that chip, which is a mark of the beast, because they want to be confounded and, and go along with the get along as far as the world goes, because you love this world and there's no fear. Right. If you fear your how about some shot, you would know that every word in this book, okay, is, is true. But that's the thing, man. Jake don't apply the words. Jake don't know the words. So he he's going to lean on to, uh, what's going to say, one to you that trust in Egypt, go down in Egypt. So he, he's, uh, uh, Jake is going to trust, all right, in Egypt, man. What's, what spiritually saw in Egypt is what? Here, Babylon the Great, man. You see, so they don't have that fear, man. That's why the brother said the fear was created with the faithful in the womb. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to be in, in this fear of, of Yahweh's Messiah has to be in, embedded in your spirit before the foundations of the world. And that's in the book of Ephesians, the first chapter, one, the ninth verse. Mm -hmm. Okay, because this is the will of the Heavenly Father being done, man. Mm -hmm. You see, to raise what the, pop, the apostles last. Um, continue on, bro. Uh, there's more, but you can grab. Yeah, that's, uh, that's limit, yeah grab limitations. Uh, was there anything above that? So, no, no, is it eight? Gone, go, get limitations three and then start at uh, verse uh, 24. Limitations eight, 24? Uh, three and 24. Three and 24. Yeah, because again, the, the, the trial of our faith, uh, we're being put on a test. Our faith is being put to the test. I said, the several men in the furnace of adversity that comes from your faith being tried in adverse situations, right? So we're going to be in a comfortable situations. You know, we all have different lives. We all have different strengths. We'll have to attempt you above your measure, but you're going to have to put that to the test. You know, it's not just enough to say you believe. You're going to have to show that. Actions speak louder than words, right? And that's what the Lord wants to see, you know, going to Paris Mosque, Revelation 3 and 10. You know, the temptation, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a trial of the elect, you know, because everybody else is going to die. It's about the elect. Go ahead. Okay. God. Limitations chapter 3 and verse 24. It's like, uh, it says, uh, the Lord Yahweh is my portion, mm -hmm. saith my soul. Therefore will I hope in him. Yep, the Lord is our portion. All right, and that portion is what? Jacob. Jacob is is, is the, the inheritance of Yahweh Shai. Okay, we're called by his name, Yahshua Allah, he prince of power. All right, so that's our portion, you know, to believe in our Lord, okay? That's why the Lord say, uh, he likened unto us as a calm and delicate woman. We belong unto the Lord. We're married unto him. He put his name on us. Okay, it's like when you get married, you carry the man's last name. That's us. We carry our Lord's last name, all right? And that's why, you know, going to the elect, only the elect are going to call upon his name because we belong unto him. He said, they are mine. Okay, the Lord bought us, purchased us. Okay, of course, all of Israel is saved, you know, according to prophecy, but they're not going to... And they were, I'll say they were redeemed. They're not going to be saved in this time. All of this is going to be redeemed. They're not going to be saved in this time. Only the elect. You know, and that's who the Lord is ultimately dealing with because everybody else is un unrecognizable. Okay, that's why the Lord calls them heathen. They're not called with my name. They chose to put on a covering that's not of him. What the uh, uh, book of Isaiah says that, right? They put on the, the covering of the devil. Okay, and that's why they have to be punished like the devil. Okay, you have your father the devil. Okay, so that's why again. Lord, our people are going to be punished the same punishment as the wicked being burnt with them with the missiles. Uh, but you got some? Yeah, to kind of back you up going into that portion. Because you said the portion of Jacob is not like him. Mm -hmm. Pretty much going into the word portion means a lot, mm -hmm. you know. So it's a specific reason why the Lord has a, a little, he's been a little sanctuary, okay, into uh, the elect wherever they scattered, whether it's here in Babylon the Great or across the four corners of the earth, because this is the will of the Heavenly Father. According to Romans 11 chapter, the election obtained it and the rest were blinded. Yeah. But this is for you to back you up. Uh, Galatians 6 and 16. It says, And as many as walk according to this rule, mm -hmm. be peace be on them yeah. and mercy and upon the Israel of the Most High. Yeah, because yeah, they're going to uh, what? Uh, get up. Uh, uh, Jeremiah talked about Jacob's trouble. It says, Then that turns from transgression in Jacob. You know, so it's not just enough to be saying, oh, I know I'm an Israelite. The Lord's going to kill Israelites too. Because again, only the elect that obey his, his voice are going to be saved. It says obedience is a better sacrifice. You know, so you have to turn back from evil ways and then sincerely turn back on to the Lord. You're not going to be able to fake the font with this thing. Okay, you can be able to finesse and uh, Jake, you know, man, you know, blend in or whatever. Say, I'm this, I'm that, you know, but the Lord knows your heart, knows your intentions. But at the end of the day, it's supposed to, you're supposed to keep a humble spirit because we're not saved yet. You know, we hope, you know, that's the point that keeps us humble. We, we still hope, you know, even our pastors and elders on down still say the same thing because we ain't been saved yet. But uh, go ahead. Jer uh, Jeremiah 30 and 7. Yeah, yeah, come. All right, straight to the point. All right, Jeremiah 30 and verse 7, and it reads, Alas, it says, Alas, for that day is great, yeah. so that none is like it. Yep, yeah, and that day is talking about the return of our Lord. And it's, and it's, it's a buildup, you know? 
that's the time we're coming into now. The things are, are coming to place like a song because this is a song, mm -hmm. you know. So you have certain parts of the song. You have the, you know, the build up, you know, even a movie, you know, you have the build up, you know, it's building up a, a point, you know, you're getting a narrative, you're getting familiar with the characters, and then it gets to a peak, you know, that's the point we're getting at, you know, we're getting ready to get to that peak, you know, of, of all hell just breaking loose, and it shows you, you know, how close we are, because, you know, certain things, you know, uh, as far as, you know, what happened in that canal, you know, uh, ships, one ship, look how much one ship caused all this trouble as yeah, far as... said, a uh, video, 400 million an uh, uh, hour. That's what they're losing. That's what I'm, and that shows you how fragile this kingdom is. You know, so a, 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 a ship, one little ship getting stuck, look how much it affected uh, this kingdom, yeah, this you know? So it shows you how fragile, you know, this cause, cause this thing is, you know, when it's a snap of a finger, literally all hell, that's how it happened. All hell is going to break loose that the, the strata broke the camel's back, you know, and there's going to be no going back from there. And that's what we're anticipating, again, the prudence, okay? You only be prudent if you fear the Lord. Yeah. We have the bigger picture where there's no vision of people perish, right? Where there's no vision of people perish. You don't have the vision. That's why you can't see the severity of the situation we're in right now. That's why you're not watching. That's why the scripture says, Blessed is he that watching and keeping his garments, lest he be found naked mm -hmm. and they see his shame in Revelation 16 and 15. Watching is watching the, 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 the prophecies build up to the day of the Lord, like the brother going into, man. But if you're not watching that, then you're going to be caught out here in folly. Yeah. Okay, having to pass over unworthily. Okay, uh, uh, pretty much having just being naked, man. Yeah, bro. You know, we have to be passed over. Yeah. I mean, what Ezekiel nine and four? Yeah. The Tawa exempt from judgment. Yeah. We're we're hoping to be exempt from judgment. Why the fuck are you celebrating for right now? Right. And to back you up, Revelations the seven chapter says, "Hurt not the earth." So everything is going to be destroyed yeah. if it's not for these men to be sealed, man. So certain men have to be sealed, man. You see, and you out here lollygagging. You know, the Lord is getting ready to hurt the earth, man. Yeah. You see, the scriptures say uh, uh, the, the earth shall roll to and fro as a drunken, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, a uh, uh, destroying wind. Okay, uh, uh, the fierce thing of Yahweh Shai, mighty uh, arrows. Okay, the scriptures say for strongest is right hand that bend the bow. So, and when they begin to be shot from the ends of the earth, they shall not miss. So, you jakes out here yeah. don't understand the significance yeah. of us being marked with salvation. Okay, with exemption from the the, 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 the lake of fire, man, the, the plague. Yeah. Okay, that all you nations are going to have to pretty much be <laughs> you yeah. the bad Babylon the Great ultimately. Yeah. Whether you a Moabite or, or, or yeah, an Ammonite, you're gonna be destroyed. Yeah, because bro, Jake just looking down the ground. He yeah. don't know what the hell's going around him. Yeah. With the elect looking up. We're yeah. looking up because yeah. God damn, you know, shit. Up. Yeah, because all the shit you doing, you fucking around going to commit adultery and guess what? World War Three's growing up. This devil's doing his mischief, yeah. setting you up. You getting ready to take a jab because you just out there yeah. bullshitting, man. Yeah. You know, and again, a lot of people gonna get caught off guard because they ain't been watching. But yeah, get that, Jeremiah. 30. Yeah, keep reading down. Okay, I got you. Uh, Jeremiah thirty and seven. Alas, for that day is great, yeah. so that none is like it. Yeah. So going back to Daniel twelve and yeah. what Yahweh Shai said, you know, since the world began, it's not going to be a day like this. Mm. It says, uh. For there is none like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, yep. but he shall be saved out of it. Yep, so he shall be saved out of it is the elect, man. The elect that's been doing what they're supposed to be doing, you know. And it's, it's not a... Uh, we we done down a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. because you know, going to the, the point of lesson is hope for good. Who's only the one that's allowed to hope for good? How can you hope for good doing evil? How can any good come to you always occupied in evil? And that's in the book of Sirach. You know, if you're always occupied in evil, how are you going to expect anything good? That's just the balance of how things go. You know, what they say, the balance of nature. What goes around, comes around. You reap, you reap your own, what, reap right. what you sow. Because, because what? You know, I say, he that is filthy, let him be filthy still. Why? Exactly. Because the, the ultimate judge is getting ready to sin, all right, the judgment, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if he filthy, bro, let him, the judgment of you being filthy is going to be a execution, man. On the spot, okay? The scripture says, Isaiah the 66, chapter rebukes a flame and fire, man. So you're going to be reproved and rebuked by getting zapped. That's what the Lord said. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's why the scripture says, lest ye repent. The scripture says, as many as I love, he rebuke and chase him. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. So if you don't repent, guess what? He's going to take, he's going to come like a thief in the night. And yeah. while you naked, yeah. okay, whether it's physical or spiritual, all right? While you naked, the Lord going to come through and, 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 and take all your shit, man, as a thief. Literally taking your life, thou fool. 
Thou so shall be required of thee this night. You know, the Lord ain't playing with you niggas, man. You know? Yeah, let's go back here. Come on, go uh, back to it. Yeah, yeah read the next verse. Come on. Uh, verse 8, it says, For it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, that I will break his yoke from off thy neck, yeah. and I will burst thy bonds, and strangers shall no more serve themselves of him. Yep, so going into us being free, you know, and that starts spiritually because what's to say, uh, the truth shall set you free. So we know in the truth, that's why the devil, he's setting up all these things like on the internet, cutting off our videos, trying to discourage you to what you believe in. But we, what we believe in is true because if it wasn't, why are we getting so much resistance? You know, there's a balance that it says suffering is an evil door because niggas doing wrong and suffering because they doing evil. But we're suffering because we're doing the right thing, you know. And, and going to, uh, we're, we're in a strange land serving strangers of a strange tongue. This is not normal. We've been in the West too long, you know, speaking English and, you know, wearing basketball shorts. What the fuck? We're not supposed to be doing that, you know, but we've been here so long, it's become normal. And that's the sad part of our people. We just, uh, uh, people who was not a nation. We have no proper representation. We're American. What the fuck is American? And that's that prophecy in Hosea. In the land where it shall be said, they are not my people. Then it shall be said that they are, you know, they are the children of Yahweh Hashem El Shaddai, because that great deliverance yeah. of, of wisdom of Solomon in the fifth chapter. Yeah. You know, how can we be numbered amongst the saints? These men out here teaching, yeah. you know what I mean, and mixed garments, you know, mixed fat, whatever you want to say, man. You know, yeah. stubborn, you yeah. know, or, 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 or yeah. not stubborn, so like you're stuttering over their words. You know what I mean? Yeah, not so to say perfect. You know, yeah, yeah you know, well, how how the hell is these the men of Yahweh Hashem Shai? Yeah, you know, share, share. I mean, really, what it is, uh, majority of people just they gave up. They literally gave up on Yahweh Shai. They just folded. So what in their mind is the best thing we should do is what make a covenant with the heathen, right. since they gave us so much trouble again because they have no hope. They gave up on our Lord, man. Mm -hmm. They gave up on him hundreds of years ago on the cargo slave ships when he was on the scene. Really, they gave up on on the scene prior to that. This is, this is the history of our people. Uh, people whom no faith mm -hmm. in Deuteronomy. I should see what the end shall be. Yep. You know, so they want to bring you down. Since misery love company. They want to be in that sorrowful spirit. So they see you lighten up, you know, because we're the light of the world. They want to bring you down. They want to put a blanket over you. Why are you fucking shining in front of me? You know, that's how they feel. God, yeah. that's heavy you say that because going into the time of Yahweh Shai, the scriptures say he is the light of the world. But what do they want to do? They want to put mm -hmm. Yahweh Shai to death. They wanted to get rid of that light. Mm -hmm. That's why you have what I said in this time that, okay, well, y'all want to get rid of me. Well, guess what? In the time that we're coming to, what's the time we're in, all your darkness is going to be shown in the light, man. You know what I mean? And that light is the reproof. Yeah. You see? And that's what we, through the spirit part of y'all, watch some out here to do in these last days. Being, being in the body of Howard Shai, that light. And that's why Jake, man, Jake can't get it, man. He's dwelling, he's rattling, he's swimming in his in his filth and his wickedness because he know that this is a time where your house side is coming back. Yeah. So he's just gonna go all out. Yeah. <laughs> you know? He don't got no he don't got no 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 covering. Yeah, because he's dead already. Yeah. So fuck it. You know, if I'm dead already, I might as well go all the way through. Yeah. And that's gonna be you taking a chip that's right. and getting destroyed. That's right. You know? That's right. That's right, brother. That's it uh, I got some for you. Go ahead. I think there was a, is another one uh, um, next verse. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Then that uh, turn. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it says then that turn from transgression in Jacob. Ten verse ten. Yeah. Come. All right, I got you. Uh, Jeremiah, so like you, like you. Uh, yeah. Jeremiah thirty and ten. Therefore, fear thou not, O my servant Jacob. Yeah. That's Seven. my servant Jacob. Is everybody serving the Lord on this planet Earth right now? Fuck no. Yeah. A small amount of people are to the best of their ability, you know. And we humbly say with the for elect, we still hope. You know, we're not locked in like that. In the spirit, the Lord knows who his chosen are, but we don't know. But it says, you know, uh, fear thou not, my servant Jacob. So who is serving the Lord? How can you serve the Lord? You have to have the fear. And what is the fear? Pretty much, what does the work from fear of the Lord come from? You doing the work, man. You know? But go ahead. Come on. It says, um, fear thou not, O my servant Jacob, saith the Lord Yahweh. Yep. Neither be dismayed, yep. O Israel. For lo, I will save thee from afar off. Yep. And thy seed from the land of their captivity. Yeah. And Jacob shall return and shall be at rest, shall be in rest and be quiet, and none shall make him afraid. Yep, and that's why we're not supposed to be fearing what this devil going to do unto us because there's nothing he's doing that the Lord's not ordained. You know, we already know what he's going to do. You know, he's laying, pretty much laying a net and thing. He's trying to trap us up, set us up, lie on us. He has a whole scheme right now. He has fucking technology to where it looks like Oh, you paying niggas uh, 
I say nigga, but you know, anybody's face on and then it looks like that's that person. You know, you see mouth moving, you know, all these special effects from movies, you know, they might, they might put a false star, they might put a false like a bar. I'm like, how the fuck, what the fuck? You know, that's gonna be a stumbling block, you know, whatever it may be, this devil gonna do, it don't matter. You know, but really, the Lord's talking to a specific people. Fear thou not my servant Jacob. Who are you talking to? He's not talking to everybody. He's talking about to those that are doing what the hell they're supposed to do. You know, believing that Yah Bosh Shai is going to take care of them because they but they hold up the end of their bargain. You know, we're not going to be perfect in this thing, but the Lord expects effort. You know, to try, man. What the hell are you doing? You know, but when it, as these times start coming, you know, really stuff starts popping off, we're going to see that great influx. You know, a lot of people are going to start to submit themselves because they just have no other option but to submit to the will of Yah Bosh Shai. You know, those are going to be blessed you know, going to the first rule of the kingdom come, right? Um, there's no more on that, is there more? Uh, I mean, yeah, we can read this whole chapter. Really kind of, kind of. Right? Uh, I got some. Yeah, go ahead. If you got something, go ahead. Get yeah, it. this is uh, Psalms uh, 33, pretty much going into the hope, you know, of uh, Psalms 33 in uh, verse 18. It says, Behold, the eye of Yehowah, by Shimei Shai, which the eyes of the Lord is the chariots, right? It says, Behold, the eye of Yehowah, by Shimei is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy. Mm -hmm. You see, so the, the, the angels of the Lord, okay, are there encamped around about them that fear him, man. So it's a it's a pretty uh significant thing to know that if you fear you how Bashmiel Shai in truth and sincerity, whether nobody watching you or not, okay, knowing that you how Bashmiel Shai is watching you, man, okay, his eye is upon you. Cause what? You hope that he will have mercy, and that's why you would do the certain things you do, move a certain way you move. All right, and then the spirit of the Lord have us to where the, the wickedness in these congregations out here, okay, they know there is life, so are coming out. And we get more shocked if I know what not to do. So you can't lose, man. You know, you getting more edified on them. I'm glad I ain't, you know, yeah, you know, doing that because boy, that shit is off, yeah, you know. Well, at least I did the Passover to the best of my ability. I didn't have the most money to do, you know, not flashy. But I'm not flashy, but guess what? We rehearsed the righteous acts in sincerity and in truth. Okay, why? Because the Lord said, unto this humble man will I look, yeah. who is broken and of a contrite spirit, and feareth my word, man. You know, roughly paraphrasing, you know. Mm -hmm. okay. Yep. Uh, get uh, Isaiah 59, you know, the enemy coming like a flood, because that's what I was quoting. I'm just quoting it. Okay, come uh, on. The next verse would be then the turn for transgression. But, you know, you, brother, you had uh, Lamentations 3. It said, it's good that a man uh, do it both, both wait and quietly hope for the salvation of his Lord. That's what we're doing, you know, we study and be quiet, you know, do our own business, you know, pretty much maneuver, serve our sentence, you know, and then ultimately again, the Lord turning around and, and, and turn that into a great salvation onto our soul, you know, but uh, it probably goes out on that though. Kind of, kind of, yeah. first 20 is what you want, right? Yeah, that first 20 started 19, yeah, come right, on, come on. Always, Isaiah 59 and 19, so shall they fear the name of the Lord from the West. Yep. So, you know, what it says uh, in Proverbs, you know, uh, pretty much, you know, them seeking them early, you know, uh, you know, seeking the Lord early while he may be found, you know, pretty much quoting, you know, uh, as an Isaiah as well, you know, because, you know, them that, you know, pretty much uh, seek the Lord early, they're going to find favor, you know, because they fear his word, you know, moved by fear, just like Noah, you know, to the building of the ark, the ark to the saving of his soul, you know, that's what we're trying to do, the old path that leads to the rest of our soul, you know, we always trouble. You know, Jake want to find a way out in this world. He's just going to find more trouble. You know, but we're trying to find a, a safety in the world to come. And that's going to be by the ushering of the kingdom of heaven by Yahweh Shashai in his return. You know, but uh, go ahead. Come in beautiful, in his glory from the rising of the sun. Yep, so from the east to the west. You know, it's not going to be an option, you know. It's not going to be an option. Oh, maybe I'll fear the Lord today, you know. You're going to learn to fear the Lord by what? Death by pain, you know. But we reading these things, hearing these things. You know uh, what? Um, you know, certain low feeling trembling. We know, you know, without seeing that this, the, this, that what's getting ready to come to pass is not a joke. You know. Uh, but yeah, go ahead. Come on. When the enemy shall come in like a flood. Yeah. Okay. And the, the, the precept there is Revelation, the twelfth chapter. Okay, which goes into he's coming down a great wrath. You know. It says, uh, when the enemy shall come in like a flood. Yeah. The spirit of the Lord Yahweh shall lift up a standard against him. Yep, so again, the title lesson being hope for good. The Lord's going to lift up a standard because, again, you cannot calmly prepare for this time we're coming into. You can't say, oh, I got my this, I got my that, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. When this nigga come in and bust my door down, 
I'm going to do this. No, the Lord's going to lift up the standards and make a way for you to escape. The Lord's just going to take over, right? And that's, again, that's the gift we have. We can't explain, like, we just believe. We just believe that the Lord's going to take care of us. That's all we can tell you. Believe on Yah, Bash, and Shai, and watch it do wonders for you. You can't fake the funk, you know, it just has to be in you. You know, those men that have that faith, they're going to be freely rewarded, right? Yes, sir, bro. Verse 20, beautiful, brother. Verse 20, and the Redeemer, wow, and the Redeemer yep. shall come to Zion, yep. and unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob, said the Lord. Yep, the Redeemer is Yahweh Shai. He's going to come to who? His elect. You know, them that turn from transgression, they, they, they're confounded and shame for their wicked ways. Go ahead, go ahead. And that turn from transgression is a key that that's the elect. That's it. You know what I mean? And from them that turn to from transgression, because what the scripture say in Romans 11 chapter, what then? Israel have not obtained what he seek for, man. So that's why Jake out here still want to sell out and want to be this guy and want to yeah. be that guy. Rather than seeking the true understanding of Yahweh Bashmiyah Shot. Why? Because the election have obtained all right, the way to uh, come back to the Heavenly Father through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah, the mediator, man. Mm -hmm. And the propitiation of our sins by what? Humbling ourselves down, partaking in the Shabbat, okay? Uh, uh, the feast days, okay? The the, 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 the holy uh, Passover, okay? Rehearsing the righteous acts, being brotherly, sharing, sharing okay? And present our bodies as a living sacrifice. Bro, these are all attributes of us turning from uh, transgression, as that scripture says. So that's a key, yeah. key scripture to know that this is what who the Lord is coming back from, for, man. Mm -hmm. Those that tr turn from transgressing in Israel, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the elect. You know, because all Israel is not Israel, man. Yeah. You know, just... Yep, and yeah, that's yeah. pretty much it. You know, going to, again, the hope, man. You know, but we have to pretty much wait. You know, that's the suffering. Waiting for the salvation of our Lord. Wait upon Yah Bash and Shah. We can't hasten above our Lord. He has a program going on. He has things to play out according to prophecy. And we just pray we're on the good side of his story. You know, so... uh yeah, that's pretty much it, you know. So with that, uh, Lord's word is edifying. That's always going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Kapodash, Double Honesty, Elders, and Apostles, Great Millstone, and peace and blessings. Hope that the Shalom. Shalom.